Okay, friends, today we're going to talk about Lesson 2-8, which is making sense of addition and subtraction equation. We're actually going to start really using all the things that we've been learning in our past lessons. First, I need to make sure you know what this is. What is this? If you said it's a plus sign, mm, I don't think so. This is our equal sign. Next, I need to know what does this mean? When you see an equal sign in a problem, does it mean just tell me the answer? Uh, nope, that's not it. An equal sign means that it's equal. That means this side and this side have to have the same value. They don't have to have the same numbers. They don't necessarily have to look the same, but when you put them together or take them apart, they have to have the same amount. Same amount on this side, the same amount on this side. How about this symbol? It looks a little bit different than our equal sign. What does this mean? The line through the middle means it is not equal. So that means this side and this side are not the same value. They are not equal. So if our equal sign means it's the same on this side and the same on this side, let's see if we can try this. What do you think? I have a square on this side is equal to a square on this side. They have the same value. Look at this one. 2 is equal to 2. Same value. Same on this side, same on this side. Well, how about this? This is a 4. And then it says it's equal to... 2 plus 2. Those aren't the same. 4 is on this side and 2 is on this side. Well, if you put 2 and 2 together, it's going to equal 2. So really, this does say 4 is equal to 4. We just broke the 4 part into 2 parts. So as long as the value is the same on both sides, it's okay if it looks different. Look at this one. It's 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. If you put that together, what are you going to get? 4. And look, on this side, it's 4. Look at this one. 2 plus 2. We know that that is 4 and 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. It is equal. It's the same on this side and the same on this side. Ooh, let's look at this. 10 is equal to 12. Is that equal? It is not equal. So I need to put my slash through because 10 is not equal to 12. Let's look at this one. 8 plus 8. Think in your head the doubles. 8 plus 8 is, mm, I remember it's 16. This says it's equal to 14. Is that true? It sure isn't. So I'm going to make my slash through the equal sign. Now I know this says 8 plus 8 is not equal to 14. Now, for the next couple of things you're going to see, we're going to be using all of the, for the problems, we're going to use these skills, all the things that we've been lurking, learning. We've been learning part, part whole. We've been talking about mental math. We talked about the commutative property where they get to trade places and it still stays the same, the value, and the associative property where I can group things differently and it still, the, the value stays, stays the same. I'm also going to use a little bit of my mental math. Using all those skills, let's figure this out. If I have the number 2 plus an unknown number, that's my missing part, I know it's got to equal the same thing as 8. So 8 take away 2 is going to be equal to, you're right, it is equal to 6. I'm going to double check my answer. 2 plus 6, that's 8. You did it. Let's try these ones together. 20 plus something is 24. Think in your head and see if you can figure it out. 20 plus what part is going to equal 24? Think about it. I hope you said 4. In this problem down here, I see a letter N. Why is there a letter in there? 
Well, the letter N is the same thing as an empty box or a blank line. It just means there's going to be a number here, but I don't know what it is. So, let's think about this. 10 plus N equals 15. Think in your head. What do I need to add to the number 10 that will equal 15? Hmm, I hope you said that it was 5. N is equal to 5, which means if I stick 5 in there for N's place, it's going to be 10 plus 5 is 15. Let's use what we know now in subtraction. 7 is equal to 10 take away n. 10 is my whole thing. I don't know what this missing part is, but I do know what this part is. So if I have 10, how much do I have to take away to get 7? Think in your head. I hope you said that it was n should be equal to 3. Because if I put 3 in the spot where n is, it's going to equal 7. It's going to be 10 take away 3 is 7. Let's try this other one down here. 35 take away n, that's my unknown number, that's the part I don't know, is equal to 20. Okay, if I have 35 and I take away a number, I need to get 20. Hmm, think in your head. If I take two 10s away from 35, how much does that leave me? I hope that you said n is equal to 15. Do you realize you're becoming a math superstar? Look at all those skills that you put together and now you can use it in adding and subtracting and finding the missing parts. Rock on!